Yes, I'm Roman, and today I'll tell you five mistakes that many people make at the gym. Let's go. Mistake number one, not asking for help, not seeking help, or not doing enough research. What this means is that a lot of people will assume that they know what to do, the machines are quite easy to use, and so they don't even try to seek or ask for help. And what often happens is that these people end up hurting themselves or not progressing as fast or as well as they should. Number two, being impatient. This is one of the most common ones because a lot of people will start the gym and then they th will think that they should be advancing at a faster rate than they actually are or that they should be doing more than they actually are. And the problem with that is that they will end up hurting themselves because they're forcing themselves doing things that they are not ready to do as yet. And another point that is quite close to this is ego lifting, which means that you're simply doing something because of this dumb desire thing in your head saying yes you should be able to do it or because people are watching you or for whatever the reason but you push and you do actually more than you should be doing and the result is the same you hurt yourself it only results in in injury number three not getting enough sleep or rest what you will find is that people tend to forget that their bodies are not machines and that they are not robots and because they forsake rest their bodies don't have enough time to recover and their muscles don't have enough time to heal for them to actually progress. Number four, quantity over quality, which means that people will rather to do more by sacrificing correct form and technique. For example, instead of doing three repetitions of any exercise correctly, you find that some people rather to do 10, but with terrible form and where they're not executing the movement well which might result in a slower rate of progress or injury. Number five and last, a lack of direction. A lot of people who are going to the gym don't know what they want. And because they don't know what they want, they don't know how to get there correctly. So one of the things people need to understand is that there's a difference between being a casual gym goer, a bodybuilder, a power lifter, or someone who just wants to lose weight or be fit or active. So you really need to know what you want and Consequently, how best to achieve these said results. But as I said before, or if I didn't say it, there are so, there's so many different information online that you might not know what to do. One advice I give people when they ask for my help is that, hey, this is how you should do the exercise, but at all points in time, see if you can feel the muscles that are being worked. And if you feel comfortable and you feel as if it's working, go ahead. Because you don't want to be in a situation or a position where you're doing something whilst being uncomfortable only because it's the right form. I'll give an example. I have lower back problems and so when I do some exercises, I have to modify the way I do them because of my unique morphology and body composition and my unique issue or condition. Likewise, people should adapt and modify their exercises to their own unique bodies. Anyways, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your take on what I said and if you have any big mistakes that people make at the gym. And with that said, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time. Ciao. Oh.